happy Monday. Today is August 9th. Um, we here. We here. We look super excited. Um, I'm super excited because this is currently my availability going into slow season. So, super excited. That unit. <gasps> oh, that is not the right price. Holy boobs. Those are for three month leases. I was about to say, buddy, there is no way. Those are the wrong prices. These are the, these are the right prices for those three units. Who? They kind of pricey though. Um, but we are going to print these um, because it's just me and Tyler today. I print three copies: one for me, one for Tyler, and then one for our tour desk. Um, again, if you don't, did I say this in another vlog? I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna post this, so I'm gonna repeat myself. If you guys have a tour area where all of the leasing agents take tours to, you have a set table, print out a price sheet for specifically those that table or tables, whatever the case may be. So in case something leases in the time that a person goes to on a tour and comes back, you can mark it out. So when they come back, they can say, oh, this is gone. Again, this is when teamwork comes in handy. If you don't have a team, I do understand that some of these won't work. For us, we have a great team here, so it's easy, especially if you're working with an office that's bigger than three people. We know how you can go from having 20-something units to three in a matter of like seconds. You just watch the applications come through like lotto numbers. It's the best feeling. But we are here. I need to drink, get some tea. I thought I... I thought I lost this. It's literally just been chilling behind me. So, um, I need to I print out that. And I also need to print out my delinquency this today. Because um, tomorrow is the 10th. So, anybody with any fees, they would receive a. Oh, I have my drop out of here. Uh, they'll receive a $75 late fee. So, and we have a couple people that have um, like pet fees that have recently been added. And if I add fees to your account, you know they're coming. If Lakey charges, you gonna pay it. So that's just me. A lot of residents try to get out of certain fees because I don't know, they don't wanna pay them. But if you add a pet to your home, you're responsible for all that includes. Um, sort, okay. Leech. Why, why, why? Formula A. This one can come out. There's not two, there's not many people on my delinquency. Um, oh shit, that was the wrong name. Uh, that comes off. That gets deleted. Boom. Okay. So I have two people with pet and I have two people that actually owe me currently rent. One of them moves out this month so they can go right to collections and they'll never be able to rent an apartment again. No, I'm just kidding, that is so dramatic. Um but the two people with pet, like I don't I don't care. You owe the fees, so I'm gonna call them. They need to get paid before the fifteenth. Because you cannot sit on my delinquency. I have not had a delinquency in two years. I do not want to start now. Uh, I'm still waiting. I need to. Why well, I bought that up? I needed that sticky note. I'll be right. Today, since we don't have a lot of work to do, um, I don't have any work to do. I'm gonna be honest. Applications are done. Once I do the four, I need just to call four people to be like, hey, when are you gonna make this payment? Um, once that's done. Applications can't be processed because I need probably proof of income for them. Oh, I need to do a couple welcome letters because some people did respond. So I need to do that. Uh, what is this what about? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
get into work um i got the move-in packet information done which you see me do earlier and then i went into attaching the attachments i just will never ever let the attachments get this much there was like 362 things that i scanned in yeah um i haven't done the new um which i told you guys last week you'll see that vlog you'll see last week's vlog this uh, like on wednesday um but these are the new inventory the sheets that i haven't put in tickets so i won't scan them in yet i'll do the tickets then scan them i also have to sign the bottom um just noting that we got them uh and then i also did try to clean out my active follow-ups uh no my follow my follow-ups with non-active follow-ups yeah prospects without active follow-ups that's what i'm trying to say um so got that somewhat down to that's like down below 70 so for my portion and then once i'm done with mine i'll probably see if tyler had any just because he doesn't really follow up with people we do it um because it's our money honestly uh denisha is really pretty good at doing hers but between delinquency and everything else i have I have a roommate promotion I need to do. Uh, and I'm not, I, I love that I just thought about this, but um, I mean, I can still do it because where it's it has to be done within the month that the, it's happening. So I can do it at the end of the month, but it just makes it easier if I do it now while I'm thinking about it before I forget about it again. And I think the one thing is it's on my calendar to do it today, uh, do it last Friday, and I still forgot to do it on Saturday. So, um, we are doing that now. I also need to follow up with a resident tomorrow, which I have a sticky note somewhere. This can go in the trash. Um, yeah, I have my sticky note uh, for people. 
that I need to follow up with about who's who's what roommate. So <sighs> what we will have to do tomorrow. I don't know what tomorrow's gonna look like. It's about 30, I just wanna go home. Ugh. I started editing the vlog. I'm gonna upload it when I get home. I'm gonna set it to upload tonight. Um, so it shouldn't be long, it's a short, the next vlog, the last two vlogs for like July, they're super short. I already told y'all, I didn't think I had enough footage, but it was just enough to like give you guys a little quick, quick peek into what was happening for July. July went by so fast, y'all. It was so busy. <laughs> All I remember is like touring multiple people and then at one point just telling people we ain't got none available. So, uh, tomorrow, tomorrow, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do tomorrow. We are currently, we're currently 98% least, 99% least. Um, and we are only 92% occupied. So hopefully by the end of the month, we have to, our, our goal for our property that our company said is we have to be 93% occupied is the base goal. And then 95 of course is the top goal. And then anything after that is a plus. So for us, I feel like we'll that'll transition very well with not having too many move outs between now and then. And honestly, everything that we have moving out between now and mid October is already pre leased. So I will probably. Oh, where's my journal? I need to. Uh, applications. I need to follow up. I really haven't had a lot of work, so I haven't actually wrote in my journal. I need to follow up with an apartment about roommates, um, renewals. I'll send Paul renewals. I still have not finished that list. I didn't realize how many people, but I still need to send him that list of those people to do. Um, <sighs> For our Instagram. Oh, let me show you guys. Oh. I should have this next one like a little bit easier. But so this week, the August 9th through August 10th is um, Resident Appreciation Week. So we just have these cute little thank you notes. And then on the inside we have, is this upside down? Yes. We realized, Tyler realized halfway through printing these that they were upside down. So we have this like little note. So on Monday we put the thank you notes out to all the residents, posted it to our social media. Tomorrow we're gonna do STL trivia. Um, whoever has of course the most answers they'll be able to win a gift card. Uh, we're gonna do happy hour at the pool. Most of our residents, of course, are of age, so it works. And anybody who's not, they are obviously not. That's just how our property is, which is great. Um, and if anybody's questionable, of course, we'll show, show me ID. Anyway, we'll have ID. Thursday's gonna be breakfast at the club. Here at the... Hello. What can I do for you? Uh-huh. You're moving into what today? What's your name? Down. Yeah, one knows what you like to work in property management. It's 5.30 on a Monday and they're like, we're moving in. To what? I'm just like, mm-hmm. Uh, they were one of the roommates moved in earlier and then the other one just got here so they didn't know if they had to do something else I'm like no you wouldn't have got keys the other day if you didn't so things like that happen uh i can say i've worked in this industry i've never forgotten a move in so can't say it won't happen but we've never forgotten one so i was really like you have to find a property we've had somebody come in and be at the wrong apartment complex though we've had that happen um and I had to call down there to call to another apartment community. I'm like, hey, we have one of your residents who's moving in today and they are lost. <laughs> and they don't know where to go. I'm like, so how can I direct them to you? So, um, oh, back to this. So 
Happy Hero Wednesday. Thursday, we have breakfast on the go where we'll be at, they'll be at the exit gate because I'm going to take off Thursday because I have to work Saturday. Um, we also have lunchtime pool party and nacho bar from 11.30 a.m. to 2 p.m. We'll have drinks and music. So that's kind of like our little way of saying thank you. Here you go. Have fun. Um, so we usually try to do one resident function a month. Uh, whether it's big, small, indifferent, whatever the case is. I am legit need to call my allergist. I'm gonna see if they got an appointment on Thursday. Uh, because hunty, hunty. I don't know if I can, these mosquito bites, I, I get a mosquito bite. Let me know if y'all have this problem. So I get a mosquito bite, rub alcohol on it, take a shower, blah, blah, blah. The mosquito bite will go away. Then a couple days later, it'll show right back up the same exact mosquito bite. And it could be like, I haven't been outside. I had, I realized this when I went out, uh, was it a Friday night? Stayed in my house all day Saturday. I didn't go out my door not once to do nothing. I didn't graze my front door. And the mosquito bites that I had on Friday that went away, were back. Thank you, Miss Judy, and I can help you. I, my first available apartment is going to be a studio on September 24th. After that, my next two bedroom would be ready till the 5th. Yeah. I don't, I have the studio. I don't have any one bedrooms currently available. Okay. Um, our studio for September 24th is currently starting at 9.53. that that is that's the starting base rent per month we're located in the central west end late fees yeah we so residents are responsible for all utilities water sewer trash electric wi-fi and cable that on average runs anywhere from 120 to 150 dollars per month uh, rent here is due between the 1st and the 3rd. If you're late on the 4th, it's $50. And then on the 10th, if you still haven't paid in full, it is Yeah, so we don't so we took we don't have the accumulation, we just have the two late fees of 125, so 50 on the fourth and then 75 on the tenth. There's nothing that adds in between those dates. Yeah, you definitely can. If you want to stop by tomorrow. Um, we're here from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. You would just need your ID and we could definitely take you around and show you property, show you our property. Alrighty, well, we'll see you then. My name is Judea and then our leasing agent here, her name is Demetria. Yo, see you tomorrow. Mm, bye bye. The problem with working in this area is that when the price is too high, people just start asking dumbass questions. Like, they're like, what's the lay fee? What does it have to do with the price? Like, do you plan to be, like, nobody asks about lay fees unless they plan to be late. Like, <laughs> I just be like people. Or when you tell them, so prospects. When a leasing agent tells you the starting price, and when we say it's starting at, like right now, anybody who calls, I'm telling them we have a studio starting at 953. Um, that's my first available apartment. My carpet is not, it's cheaper, but it's not available first. It's available two weeks later. So the starting price right now is 953. That just means 
that that is the base rate because if you change your move-in date so if you move your move-in date that apartment you move the move-in date two weeks three weeks whatever that raises the price right um just because that's how the availability works that's how it runs i'll show you guys for visual i have nothing else i'm I literally i'm done for the day um but oh it doesn't matter if i do three months either way i'm gonna click on it and it's gonna show me all of it okay so and i'm actually gonna show you my real life my my pricing right now so let me show you guys i'm just bouncing all over the place it's five o'clock you guys can just learn with us so this is a price sheet that we see and this is what happens when you apply online so as of today this is my apartment it's available on the 24th literally this is my first available this is the whole price sheet printed out of what's available so y'all yeah, know your girl ain't just trying to be like finesse you now due to my area the prices are um quite high so as you guys can see if you move in between this date and this date this is your price for a 12 month lease if you push your date out the price increases it's because one the availability of the area for a studio shrinks supply and demand and then what happens is as you change your lease term which some people do the price does change now i know some people will look at this and be like hold up how is an eight month lease cheaper than a nine month lease how does that work why is that like that because there are times where you will call a property and they'll be like hey for a 10 month lease it's cheaper than a 12 month and you're like wait 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 a 12 month lease is the norm focus camera focus oh it's not balanced so you don't want to focus there we go the pro the way they do this is we don't we want a even number the goal i should say the goal is to have a even number of units expiring at the same time so for me my property runs like a student property we will get into that in a whole nother video or if you have specific and you want to know that specifically question leave a comment i'll answer it but we'll get into that whole ordeal my property runs like a student property but it's not a student property so for us we know in the summertime we have most of our two bedroom come available the goal i don't know why my camera's like focusing in and out probably because there's so much behind me that it's just like so many words and stuff to focus on but there we go hopefully hopefully it will stay like this so we know most of our units will expire mid-summer to keep from having so many people expiring their leases from may to july we give a 10-month lease so that your lease ends either earlier than that grid point or after that grid point it's just a manipulation that's the easiest thing they play we manipulate you with the pricing of a cheaper rate for a shorter lease term we get what we want you get a cheaper price win-win across the board but some people do like the 12 month lease so they will pay whatever the rate is for the 12 month so that is why we do it every now and again i have a couple people who will want to do they'll be like hey can i do a 16 month lease sure sure i don't care um <laughs> and i'll do that because then of course it definitely pushes sometimes it will indefinitely push people to a grid point because they know they want to do you know i have people i have somebody right now doing a 14 month lease i don't care do a 14 month lease you get pushed outside of that busy grid area of where it, it's a lot of units coming available so that's why you will see that a month lease is way cheaper than a 10 month or you can get a six month lease at the same rate that you can get a 12 month lease it's just the manipulation of the system that's all this you're gonna keep it real that's just what it is uh so but the price does change of course as you go cheaper and lower the highest price so i always for my leasing agents because some people you want to be on your p's and q's and know your know your stuff so sometimes if you need to print out let's say like during the summer months i will print out my studio my one bedroom my two bedroom different floor plans because you have the parents and i love these parents who come in who keep me on my toes and asking these questions some people will ask you random questions They'll be like what's the high end of this apartment or what's the low end and also this is what you see online the low end of this unit 
the high end of this unit. You will have people that will challenge you and they will ask you every question under the boat. So make sure you can snap it out. Um, so I keep up with a lot of these numbers in my head all the time. And don't be afraid to carry a clipboard. Don't be afraid. I used to have writing on my arm with all my notes and stuff and pricing for the day. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I wear a long sleeve shirt or jacket or coat. And when they wanted to know something, it'll all be right there. <laughs> it, it's just easier to carry a clipboard. Don't write on your skin. I, at this point, I should have like a lot of different poisonous. I'm just gonna be honest with y'all. But that is the grid. So when you're on the phone and they quote you a starting price, we always quote your starting price because we never want to quote you the exact price because we don't know because you could tell me you're looking to move October 3rd, but then when you go to put in your application, you move it to the 22nd. Well, the price is going to change because you moved your unit. You moved your move-in date. So that's why the price is starting. So they never lie to you. Plus, as you add on fees, you add on water show trash, you add on electric, you add on pet rent, you add on, you know, parking, you add on um, concierge fees. There's a lot of apartment communities that have some fees and i'll be like i'm not living here because i'm paying more fees than i am in rent but that's here nor there uh but that's where the starting price comes from honestly i don't know how i got on this rant but you know now <laughs> uh but i had 10 minutes so i'm about to close up shop uh so i can lock up set the alarm and then we go. Demetria is probably at my house. She officially closed on her first home today as a realtor, not as the homeowner. Because if she do that, I'm be like picking out my bedroom. Um, I feel sorry for my friends because I'm I live at their houses because they put in to save. Make sure that when you complete your ticket, you put your note your notes in. Um, for us, we have to put the notes in because our residents can see it when we complete the work order. The residents can see the, the tech notes. So we always have to make sure those are on point. Um, did somebody go over to, to um, 60A6, right? 60A6, I called over to Walkie. What was that? Same kind of issue. Yeah, yeah, I did that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It was the same issue? Yeah. Okay. Um, do we need to call somebody out? Oh, I guess I need to put another ticket for her. Um, what, who? 68.6. Cause her wall. Her wall is gonna need to be kills to paint it and all that. I already did that. Oh, well, my bad. Get the hell out of me. Are oh, you not listening? I'm not. <laughs> y'all have no idea how much video footage I edit out because y'all say some off the wall shit. And I'm just like, just my luck they would see it. Okay. So that's done. Page expiring. How the hell the page expire? Okay. Y'all completed eight work orders today. That was it. Why was it today? He had to go because his power was out and they said that his box got destroyed. Oh. So he had to be he had to be home for them to come out and because his box was somewhere connected to it. I don't know. He just said his box got destroyed. They told him he had to be there for them to come out and fix it. And they'd be out between 12 and 2. Don't look at me like that. So you know, Demetria brought some. Because uh, four plus eight equals thirty-two, right? Every day, always. Yeah. All day. If you take eight four times, you get thirty. One thing I love about this camera is it charges so fast. It charges so fast. Okay, people. Oh, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. Um. I just went, I came back from getting my oil changed. Literally, love, 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 love where it go. So if you're in the St. Louis area, it is called, oh, I don't know what it's called. My damn it. <laughs> I forgot the name. It's five oil plus. It is at New Halls Ferry in Lindbergh. It's just right on that corner. It used to be like a U-Haul and another, it used to be called oil plus. If you're from St. Louis, and know that area, but love it. One. I love, I don't know if it's owned by black people anymore. I knew before, I believe it was owned by a black guy, but now I don't know if it's black owned, but I know the whole team is black. The manager's always out there working with his team, which to me, we already know is a big plus. I feel like if a boss can't do something, but is delegating all the damn time and never helping, 
because when I got there, there was already two cars there. I pulled up in the third bay and then more cars pulled up. So they was busy. Um, but he's out there helping, getting everybody's information, doing the oil changes, checking stuff. Like he, he does it all. So I'm happy. I need to leave them a review. I usually, usually don't leave reviews. I really need to get in the habit of leaving reviews because I talk about leaving reviews, whether it's, you know, when it's good, because most people don't leave reviews when something bad happens which is always sad. I need to get the battery for this computer. Um, but I, um, I'm gonna, I need to leave them a good review because they are absolutely amazing. I boast about them all the time, like on my Instagram and stuff like that. Every time I go get an oil change, it's been a minute. He was like, you ain't been here. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I know. Where the hell is the charger for this? I know I brought it home. If not, it's at work and oh shit, it can't be at work. It may be at work. Man, oh, I have another one. Ho oh, ho, backup batteries for a reason. For a reason. No, oh, but I thought I had this one here. All right, you guys, we got the vlog edited. It was exporting, but then the computer died. So I have to wait till Denitra gets here to plug it in and finish the export and upload it. That'll probably happen at like seven o'clock, so you'll get a vlog tomorrow morning. Um. This is August. Today's August 12th. I don't think I told you guys that, but of course, you know. I'll give you a little time stamp at the beginning of every clip. Uh, so that is from the end of July. I need to figure out, I need to see if I have a leak somewhere because I have all these little nets around my house. So that usually comes from like a leak of some sort. Uh, so I'll look underneath my sink. Maybe I have a leak, but they're annoying. They're just annoying. Little bitty bugs. Oh, they drive me crazy. Um, so I need to do that. I need to clean up my house because it's just in disarray right now. It's not even dirty. It's just good morning, peeps. Happy Friday. It is August. What the hell is today? August thirteenth, something. Yeah, it's August thirteenth. Um, I look crazy about it here, cause. I need to wash my hair. How the fuck do I delete this? I gotta go all the way on my page. So I'm trying to get a vlog up. The vlog from the end of July. So that literally by Monday, I'm caught the fuck back up with vlogs. But my computer won't let me be great. As you guys know, this computer unfortunately fell off my desk twice um, at work. And it broke on this. It broke on this side, but this screen is touch screen. Now, this is great, but the process is slow on this computer. Um, oh, I could have tried the touch light thing on this computer. Turn up. You see, she on TikTok and be like, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to try this again. I'm going to try this again. If it doesn't work, I'm going to see if I can put it on one of these memory cards actually i think this one doesn't have anything on it currently um put it on a memory card and then put it on my mac take it to work and upload it at work so one or two things about to happen because if it doesn't upload here at home uh it's gonna be an issue but i need to leave home i need to leave here by eight o'clock so i need to leave home in the next like half an hour and i don't i don't know why this started going crazy last night because it was set in like the perfect spot that it wouldn't touch it wouldn't move there's nobody in my house unless you know a ghost came through and was like hey fucking shit up uh so yeah but i need to get a towel i'm gonna hopefully that loads uh, I may just put on another card and see if I can get it to upload at work. If not, I'll do it when I get home tonight. Because I'll be home at 6.30 like normal. Because today's our last resident function day. And that's going to be in the afternoon. Um, and then we'll clean up before. I think we're going to do it from noon to when everything's gone. Uh, just to make it easier and start cleaning up at like 5. So at 6 o'clock we can walk out the door. But I am going to find some clothes today to put on my body 
It's been hot as hell, but it rained yesterday. All right, peeps, happy Saturday. Your girl's still looking rough. Maybe next week I'm gonna put on makeup. Next week I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna put on makeup. That's gonna be my goal for next week. Put on makeup. And not just so that like I have makeup on, but I feel like I'm always put a little more put together and I try on my outfits. Cause today I just have on this shirt that says zero days without sarcasm, which is me and it's total sense. And then I have just some jeans on. Y'all know my lovely brown Burmese sandals. Love them. Um, but they're not fake for, for those who are new. They're not fake from, they're not Hermeses at all. They're not inspired, they're Target sandals. They just look like the known Hermes sandals, flat sandals. Um, so I call them my Hermeses, you know? I bought them because they were easy to slip on and slip off. I don't like shoes. Uh, I have my lunch here. What's up peeps? I am currently getting gas. Um, because my car, my tank was on E. I might be gonna lie to y'all. I was supposed to get gas yesterday on the way home from work. I went straight in the house. Then I left back out last night. Didn't get gas. And when I left and came back, so now I, uh, my tank is efficient. It was on a quarter tank when I got home. <sighs> and I think I put too much money, which is okay, because I can go back and get more. We'll see. I have a 15 gallon tank. Oh, she got jizz. Oh, 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 look at that girl. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 20 more cents. Boom, she did that. Had like a hand sanitizer explosion so i keep hand sanitizer that's annoying i think this is not plugged in oh yes it is so i keep this hand sanitizer in here i just refill it Success but prepared. i always forget to turn it upright before i open it because it's hanging upside down in a hot car all the time lately and in the winter it freezes so but i always use hand sanitizer because when I was eating, yo baby, she had a full ticket. Yeah, forty-five fucking dollars, bro. Forty-five dollars for gas right now. Um, I have a fifteen-gallon tank. I had to go back home really quick because I forgot my watch. I don't think I put it on the charger. So I need to grab the charger so I can charge it in the car. I have the six series Apple Watch. I'm not rolling down my windows because I'm about to jump back out, but I'm not gonna turn my car off. Um. I have the Series 6 watch. It charges hella fast. Most time I charge it, I put it on the charger when I get up for work in the morning just because I don't run the battery down. I don't know what people do to run their battery down. Maybe if they have the other additional line so then they don't have to, like if you forget your phone at home, you can still talk on your watch. I don't have that. If mine's connected to Wi-Fi, it works. Or if, you know, I have my phone with me, I'm perfectly fine, so. Go on, girl. So. I'm gonna run in the house really quick, grab my watch, and then be back. See? Go, oh, cause your love is what I want, babe. You know that I wanna stay this way forever. 